Parallels Desktop Review Parallels Desktop is the optimal choice for emulation software when you need to run Windows, Linux, or older versions of Mac OS on an Intel-based Mac. When you need to run Windows on an Apple Silicon machine, Parallels Desktop is the only available option. Parallels Desktop is a suitable software for running Windows on Mac computers, particularly those with Intel processors and Apple Silicon machines. Parallels Desktop is less stable and enterprise-friendly compared to VMware Fusion, with fewer features and slower performance. These two upper versions can be used to handle graphics or math-intensive Windows software. Aside from the extra RAM and CPUs, the business version provides centralized management and a one-time license for multiple users. Additionally, both the Pro and Business versions include a kiosk-style rollback feature allowing it to quickly reset after use, as well as a manual snapshot feature which allows you to roll back to an earlier version. Price is a major factor to consider. VirtualBox and UTM are free options, UTM is the only one usable on an Apple Silicon Mac. It may be beneficial to invest in apps like VMware or Parallels rather than using the difficult free options. Further resources for running Windows apps on Mac can be found in our article. Parallels allow the free ARM-based Windows 10 or 11 developer beta to be used on Apple Silicon Macs. Additionally, ARM-based Debian, Fedora, Kali Linux, and Ubuntu can be downloaded and installed via Parallels menu. For those running Mac OS Monterey, there is a special version available for virtual use. However, this does not support any features that Parallels would offer for Intel machines with Mac OS guests. Macs with Intel CPUs are able to create virtual systems capable of running a variety of Windows, Linux, and Mac OS versions from the recovery partition. Additionally, there are multiple options for Android, Linux, and Windows within the download menu. Parallels Desktop allows users to create virtual Windows systems either by installing from a disk image or DVD or by importing an existing installation over a network. Providing that the original machine has Parallels Transfer software installed. Note that licensing is required for all virtual Windows systems except those available as developer betas. Parallels Desktop does not offer a version that can be used to emulate systems on Windows or Linux. Further instructions can be found in our story on how to enable 32-bit support in Mac OS Catalina. Parallels Desktop simplifies the process of permission set up by walking users through it, eliminating the need to go to Mac system preferences on their own. It is noted that other vendors could benefit from taking the same approach. If you are setting up Parallels on a Mac with an Apple Silicon processor, you must first download the preview of Windows 11 for ARM computers according to the instructions provided by the software. Afterward, you will be directed to the Create New menu, where you can choose from either a disk image or several free Linux systems. Additionally, Parallels displays all virtual systems in one window known as the Control Center. To get the ARM-based preview version of Windows 11, join Microsoft's Insider Preview program. Parallels will provide instructions and the disk image should be downloaded from Microsoft. Drag this disk image into the Parallels window, where you select Productivity or Full Screen Games Configuration. Testing showed that it took less than a minute to create and start Windows Guests and less than 5 minutes to finalize installation, similar speed compared to direct hardware installation. Parallels Desktop for Pro subscribers can start virtual machines in rollback mode. This lets users try out the software without any permanent changes, as the machine returns to its original state each time it is rebooted. While all other emulation apps have a snapshot option for preserving a guest system's current state. Only Parallels has this kiosk-style mode, which makes it especially useful.